In this step, let's write a stub to test the sum business IMPL. So let's go to stores test Java and let's create our test in here. So I would want to create a unit test file. So unit test, oops, test, yep, that's good. So test case, and I would want to test the class sum business IMPL, and I would want to call this sum business test and let's go ahead and click finish so now i have a test it's not implemented yet what i would want to do is i would want to test this method so test find the greatest from all data so now let's create an instance of the sum business impl business impl is equal to new instance of PL. i would want to call business impl dot find the greatest from all data I'm just seeing what would happen if I directly call this like this. This throwing a null pointer exception because we did not set anything into the data service yet. So now what we want to do is to create a stub data service and use it in here. So how, how can I create a stub data service? It's very simple, right? I just need to implement that service. So I'll create a simple class in here. So class data service stub implements data service. I'll say control one and add an implemented methods. So now it's returning some dummy data back. I'll rather say just say four, six and 15 or I'll just say 24, six and 15 and no end. Okay, so what we are doing in here is we are creating a new stub. Once we have created the stub, actually we, I mean, you need to be able to pass this stub to the IMPL, right? So. Right now, there is nothing in here to accept the data service, so I'll create a constructor in here as well. I'll say generate constructor using fields. So I'm going to the sum business IMPL and I'm creating a constructor to accept the data service in. So now when I create the sum business IMPL, I can say new instance of data service stub. I know the result from this, right? So the command one, assign statement to, this is the result. So. I can now write a unit test for it. So it's assert equals. I'm returning some dummy data back here. So 24, 6, and 15. The greatest is 24. So I would expect the result to be 24. So if the method is working fine, then I would expect the result to be 24. So now I can write a unit test for it. So I'll say add static import for equals. Shift O, control Shift F. Now let's see if this unit test works fine. This is cool. So now. This unit test is working fine. However, in this unit test, one of the drawbacks is the fact that we are using a stub. What is the problem with a stub? Think about it. So what do you think would be the problems with using a stub? One is I have to write a lot of code like this to maintain this. So every time I add some method to the data service, I need to keep updating the stub to add those methods, make the changes in the interface of the data service. That's one. What other disadvantages can you think of? Let's say, I want to test a different scenario. What I would need to do is create a completely new stub. So let's say I want to create a scenario with only one number, or I want to create a scenario with no numbers at all. So I would need to keep creating different versions of this class again and again. So we need to create multiple stub versions of the whole thing again and again. That's where mocks come in. When we are using mocks, we don't really need to create multiple versions. Mocks make it very easy to dynamically create different classes and make them return the data that we would want to return. In the next step, we will use Mockito to create a mock and see how this example would look like while writing it with Mockito. Until the next step, bye-bye.